Guys. Let, let's say let's say we're uh, I'm I'm in the market to buy a guitar. Okay. Why should I buy this one or this one you had previously? What are the main differences? Well, between these three, we obviously have this breathe-through design. The guitar has such a different frequency frequency range. For um, you can play anything from very. Like woody, more, more feel, woody, a little up yeah. let's, let's put it in the center. Take the re voicer off. Okay. Here we go. So you can get a really nice. You can hear the string sound, you can hear the, the response. And and the bite is there. The bite is still there. Extremely versatile. You could use it in a rock and blues setting. You can use it in a jazz setting. Um, um, plus with the Bigsby. Yeah, the, you, you love the Bigsby. Uh, <laughs> but let's compare to the to the one you, you've been playing for like uh, several several years now. This guy. Yeah. So this one, what's the advantage of this one and compared to this one, let's say? Well, this one, it is, well, let's describe it a little it's bit. It's not heavier, it's not mm. more sustained. It has a different frequency response. Okay. Let's, let, me, let me show you the difference. It's, um, and this is uh, another wonderful variation here on the uh, Summit Classic. And the pickup configuration on this one is the Seymour Duncan 59 and an Elninko 2 in the in the neck. And we got the revoicer on it as well, but the added extra big speed. And the frequency response, let's do the same sort of demonstration. We'll, we'll go treble pickup first and pull the volume down about six. See, it's a little bit more. Focused. Mm -hmm. See how it's. Let's try the same thing. A little bit of tube screamer, only one note, so you hear all the harmonic rings. Extra distortion on the TS9, so that gives you that little extra push okay. up and help the solo. It's a classic shape, and you probably played other guitars with that classic shape. So, what what are the, the, the difference that you feel that are, this this one's got that maybe the other one don't got? This this particular model um, and all the Godin models are so precisely built. Um, the fret size, the neck, the neck width and uh, length. Very, very comfortable to play. You don't have uh, any problem getting around it. Medium, medium sized frets, not big frets. I myself have uh, always been um, rather partial to um, big fat frets. You wanted some, that's yeah. what you wanted. But on this particular, all of the go down models, the neck angle, the bridge angle makes it very, very comfortable to bend strings, you know. You can get right up there, no problem. Um, you feel you got the same sustain or better sustain or less sustain? Um, it, it really depends. It really depends. The, the guitars will sustain forever if you like. Um, same thing uh, with the Montreal Premier. Uh, the amplifier will help drive the top of the guitar. Uh -huh. It makes it almost alive in your hands. This particular guitar has more of a focused tone, more of the kind of tones like, like we're all kind of familiar with, you know, yeah. the real uh, sort of a hard rocking sound. You can go. To um, 
And it's sensible to your playing. You play, you play uh, softer, it sounds softer and... Well, that's the thing. It really responds well to dynamics. Great question, thanks. And I use kind of a heavy pick, a 121. And what, what I find I like about this pick is that it makes your wrist react a little bit differently. You can play hard, <clears throat> like if I'm picking hard now. Pick light. You still get the articulation on the note. And yet you can control with your wrist more. So the guitar responds really, really well. It doesn't, doesn't hold back the sound. The sound jumps right off the fingerboard, which inside I want to talk about the fingerboard. Can. Okay, well, these. This rich light fingerboard, it's very, very dense wood. The notes fly off the guitar. You know, there's no lag. It just really, really jumps off. And as far as, um, you know, keeping, the, keeping it clean, and, you know, if you're playing outdoor gigs and you're sweating all over it, the, the neck cleans up really, really well and really, really quick. So um, the rich light has been really, really great. And balance, the weight, it's only like seven pounds. The guitar is very, very balanced and very easy to stand up and play long, long shows with. So yeah, great pickup configuration. We got everything from... So, so for a professional musician like you, you don't need a ton of guitars. You, you, you can bring this one and... This has really been a versatile instrument. I've used this on um, fusion gigs. Use it on pop gigs, and um, you, you can play funk with it. You know, you can. You know, big speed stays in tune. Yeah. Um, right down to more textural sort of things. because we're, we're going to run out of time soon. I would like to give me some information about where we can hear from you, where we can see you, uh, your Instagram, your Twitter account, uh, your Facebook page, everywhere we can find you. You know, if you go to uh, stevefister.com, it'll take you to all the places you need to go. And I'm on, you know, we have the prerequisite Facebook and Instagram and all that stuff. So okay. stop by and say hello. We'd really appreciate it. And Great. by all means, check out these instruments. This is um, the precision, and it's, it's never let me down in a live gig. And throwing it in the overhead in the air, airplane, you know, you're always a little stressed out. People are throwing their suitcase on top of your guitar. I get, I get the guitar out, it's practically in tune. Everything's fine. <laughs> so they're extremely well built, very, very durable, sound great, and can take a beating. So uh, that's it. It's really, really fantastic stuff.